Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering is Calvin Ridley worth the investment? Before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Coming off of a roller coaster ride from the Atlanta Falcons, the Jacksonville Jaguars took a flyer on Calvin Ridley. He was suspended at one point in time for gambling, and you saw just how explosive Ridley could be. When he came back to the Jacksonville Jaguars and he played last year, he was at times unguardable. He was at times um, prolific. At times, he was he was a lot of things. Being able to run so much of the route tree, being able to be wide receiver number one, he did so many different things well for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And you're seeing exactly how that turned out. He had one of his best seasons on the football field that we've ever seen. And you're looking at exactly what to make of his worth in the free agent market. You know that if he goes back to the Jacksonville Jaguars, there is some type of draft compensation the Jaguars have to give the Falcons. But outside of that, if you're the Jaguars, do you want him back? You know, with the, with the, you know, he's going to command a top 15, top 20 salary because of his services and his youth. Um, you see what he did last year. And, and at 29 years of age, he's looking to hit his big payday. But the question is, should the Jaguars pay him or somebody else pay him the big payday? So from a standpoint of, do you think the next three to four years are going to be his best couple of years? Or do you feel like the best of his years is behind him? I look at this and I say, buyer beware. No disrespect to Calvin Ridley. I know what he's done on the football field. I know when he's motivated, he's great. But I just have to ask myself, anybody that's undisciplined off the field, there's a chance that you could still be undisciplined later down the line. And what does money do? It, it, it essentially brings out who you really are. It essentially brings that out. And if I'm in charge of a franchise, I don't want Calvin Ridley as my number one receiver. I feel like, you know, you know, he's pretty good as a receiver, but I don't feel like the leadership quality is there. I don't feel like he can lead a team. And if you're the best wide receiver in my wide receiver room, I want you to be that. Um, again, he has a lot of upside. He has an elite upside to where, okay, he can hit, boom, 29, 30. He can put up 1,000 yards apiece. He put up 10 plus touchdowns. We've seen the speed. We've seen the, the, the route running. But I didn't see him as a leader in the locker room. When you have other options out there from the draft, when you have other options out there for free agency, let's face it. If T. Higgins was on the market and you had your choice between T. Higgins and Ridley, I want T. Higgins. If, if I have a choice between Jamar Chase and Calvin Ridley, I'm going Jamar Chase. If I have my options for elite talent, I'm going with the elite talent. So I don't feel like he's grown and, you know, I see that he's probably a wide receiver too, wide receiver three on some teams. But you got to think, with Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence force-fed him a lot of the passes. He force-fed him because not a lot of other people were open on the field. Let's just be honest what it is. So as far as paying a big salary, no thank you. I would not like to pay Calvin Ridley a big salary. I would pay him somewhere between the likes of 12 to $14 million. And that would be it. I wouldn't be going 20 plus mil. I would not be going Devontae Adams type money. I would not be going Jamar Chase kind of money. I would not be going T. Higgins kind of money. No, I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. I'm investing the right way, the smart way. And I'm building my team around protected investments, which are guys that are working hard, guys that are making good decisions off the field and leaders. Most of the time when you have good quality, good worth ethic, that leads to you being a good leader. So I need somebody in my wide receiver room that's gonna build up those young guys, that's gonna be teachers, that's gonna be fundamentally sound and help the people grow on my team, not just in a wide receiver room, but also in the locker room in general. So that's just me. All you NFL fans, get in there and chime in. All you former Falcons fans, all you Jaguars fans, get in the comment section below. Would you give him a deal? Check out the rest of our content in the archive and we'll see you in the very next video.